Caddy 20 also has a couple of new commands that helps you in drawing reinforced steel bars that you use for concrete work. And they will be found in the steel application called S-Bar or Slab Rebar. We've got a couple of commands, Auto Slab Rebar, Custom and Manual, as well as a Schedule option which we'll get to shortly. Let's first have a look at the Auto Slab Rebar. In this case, it will ask you in the command line, indicate the first end of beam. So I'm just going to draw a beam from here to there. It's then going to pop up a dialog where it asks you what's the mark number. So let's start at number one. Your arrow size, your detail, in other words, your steel profile, colors you want to use, the spacing that you want to have between the di different bars as well. Uh, position, top, bottom, or you can enter your custom position as well cover gap on both sides your shape is your shape codes standard shape codes so you choose the shape code you want the text height the maximum bar length if you want to specify that the splice or lap length can also be calculated for you or you can enter your own custom length it gives you all the options at the bottom in calculations so once I'm happy with that I click OK it will ask you to indicate the first end beam run so the run should start there and it should end over there it will then ask you for the bar symbol position as well as the position for the run symbol as you can see if I move my mouse I can either place it inside there or outside your drawing area so in this case we've got enough space so I'm just going to leave it over there and there's your auto bar the 37 is telling you how many bars there are in that piece calculated at 200 centers to centers let's have a look at a larger area now if I have a look at this area over here I'm going to use the same command same options but you will see if I go to shape code 38 it automatically changes back to 37 as uh, the span exceeds uh, the 6 meter specified which means it will then be substituted with a shape of 37 which will be lapped into bars or steel bars being used so once again you go through the values you say ok and indicate the first end of beam run the last end position for bar symbol and once again you can choose where you want the text to be placed so that's basically automatic rebar options on slabs now let's say you've got so, uh, an area like that where you want to now put in a triangular or a curved shape or whatever the custom slab rebar will ask you to indicate the first end of beam so I've got a couple of lines that I'm just going to snap to to show you how it works once again you've got a dialog box you choose your shape codes and all of that click on OK and then it allows you to draw the next one and the next one and it will automatically change your cursor and move it according to the spacing that you've specified in the previous dialog box once you're done you say option end and place the run symbol and then your text obviously I can place over to the side like that once again that gives you now mark numbers 3 up to 9 is all specified in there if for some reason you want to do custom bars where you want to place them one by one manually I can use the manual rebar command uh, let's say I want a rebar symbol to start over there going all the way to there I'm just going to do one in this instance the mark number you can change and choose whatever you want to once again once you click on OK indicate position for annotation and then once again I can move my text out of the way over there so that's basically just in short to show you how you can set up and use the slab rebar commands once we've done all of that obviously we want to put that into a bending schedule so once I click on schedule rebars it will ask you to indicate objects to schedule so if I schedule all of them over there and it asks you to indicate the position for the schedule I'm just going to place it over here and drag it out the same uh, the size I want it to be you will see that it automatically schedules them number number of each the type of bar the mark number the total number 
the length, the shape codes each and every one uses and all the calculations going along with that. So once again that's just a fast and simple way that CADI 20 can help you and aid you if you're in a structural environment where you can use a steel reinforcing commands for your slabs.